Senator Martin Heinrich is talking about how New Mexico is handling the pandemic, including what plans are coming together to help businesses survive. Here's Action 7 News reporter Brandon Evans. I asked Senator Heinrich about what he thought about non-essential businesses in New Mexico not opening until May 15th, as well as what he thought about other states opening up earlier than that. What's important is to have a blueprint in place with actual metrics. So once you have a couple of weeks of declining cases, uh, that is one of the metrics that we should be using uh, to, to measure against before we start relaxing um, some of these efforts. Still, he recognizes businesses and unemployed workers need help now, which is why he says he voted yesterday to approve $300 billion to refill the Paycheck Protection Program. So it also has uh, $60 billion for the idle grants that are really focused at our smallest sort of mom and pop uh, four or five person businesses. Those are incredibly important. He says states like New Mexico can't wait until the pandemic ends to have a long term plan in place. I think we'll probably get to a vaccine and therapies faster than we have in the past, but it's just not a fast process to actually get a successful vaccine. So we have to manage this thing with testing uh, in the meantime. He says he hopes to continue seeing collaboration between federal, state and local partners, including the laboratories right here in New Mexico. Heinrich says it's all hands on deck right now in New Mexico, and he's really proud to be in New Mexico, a state with only 2 million people, still one of 15 states with less than 80 COVID-19 related deaths. Reporting, Brandon Evans, KOET Action 7 News. Heinrich also talked about New Mexico being part of a federal pilot program for testing and contact tracing. Well, Heinrich says he spoke with the governor about that today. He says right now the state is still in the dark on a number of things, including how much help is coming from the federal government and when. We've been told we're going to be part of this program, but no resources, no people have have you know, materialized yet. So my hope is that the White House is moving quickly to turn this pilot program into something meaningful for our state and for the country. Heinrich is in New Mexico. He says he could return to Washington, D.C. early next month.